we have a very exciting women's long jump final coming up. We have the world leading jumper. We have an Olympic and world champion medalist. We have three Commonwealth Games champions. And we have three women capable of jumping over seven meters. Now we've never seen a seven meter jump at a Commonwealth Games, but this could be the night. So these are the records. We can see that the game's record currently stands at 6 meters 97. And we will show you the start list. Now for those eagle-eyed athletics fans, you will notice on the start list that we have 13 athletes in the final instead of the usual 12. Now that is because Samantha Dale of Australia protested her second round foul from qualifying. Now the protest was honored and she was given that jump which gave her a mark of 6 meters 35 and pushed Tyra Gittens, who jumped 628, into 13th. But they decided the fair thing was to take 13 contestants, 13 finalists, ahead to the final. Deborah Aqua of Ghana is about to open this competition and take her first jump. It's a great night for jumping. Uh, it's still warm. The back straight is absolutely bathed in sunshine. Oh, wow. And what a great way to open the competition. I mean, in qualifying, she did 6.85 off of her first jump and went home and rested, and that looks better. Wow. You can see that reaction. She is open with 6 meters 94 and a new PV. We're picking up in round two of the long jump. Now, this is a tense moment. S.A. Broom has registered a no mark on her first jump. She is not going to want to do that again here. And, oh, that is big, but that was very close to the board. I mean, she looks confident. I feel like she's quite confident there that she that has been a valid jump. And if that is, that just might take the lead from Deborah Aqua of Ghana. Oh, one centimeter. <laughs> Tim, I don't think you could be more perfect. Well, I'll tell you what, it was perfect because she made a little adjustment. There were a couple of little stuttery steps before the board, but that is a massive effort. That is, in fact, a new Commonwealth Games record at 6 meters 99. Will we see a 7 meter jump tonight? She will need a jump of over 6 meters 94 to get ahead of Deborah Aqua of Ghana. Again, it's amazing just how long her runway is. It's longer than all the other ones. Wow, that is very big. Oh, that looks good. Again, she looks to be just perfect on the board. I'm not seeing a flag at the moment, four centimeters. And actually, it's been, it's been quite tough for the women because there are a lot of ceremonies going on, which means that obviously everything stops and we honor the winners. And oh, she is <laughs> 6 meters 95. She goes in to silver by one centimeter. Everyone in the stadium is clapping in unison. Can she get that extra centimeter? I'm not sure about whether or not that was behind the board, but it doesn't matter because she is the Commonwealth Games champion. As Tim said, she won it in 2014 as an eight-year-old. She as an eight as an 18-year-old. <laughs> oh, eight-year-old, that would be impressive. <laughs> she wasn't given the chance to defend it in 2018, but she has taken the crown again in 2022. What a special moment and a very deserving champion she is. We didn't know it. But a jump in the second round was good enough for victory. Look at this. That's oh, she's good. taken off. Unbridled joy. She's done it. She has jumped seven meters. She found oh, that extra oh. centimeter. That's why she took off running. Oh, what an amazing final jump. There is only six centimeters separating gold from bronze. Again, one of the great things that we've seen at these games is just how hard athletes have fought both on the field and on the track to win those medals. That is what makes them so special, that passion and that fight.